Hi, and welcome to another virtual story time from the Campbell County Public Library. I'm Darcy, I'm the Youth Services Librarian here. Um, parents, caregivers, gather up your kids. We're gonna start story time in just a couple of minutes. While you're getting them gathered up, I do want you to know that we're still offering all of our books, CDs, um, DVDs, audiobooks, all of our resources for checkout. We have two ways that you can do that since the library is closed and you can't come inside. You can either go online at ccpls.org and you can put materials on hold. We'll get those gathered up for you and you can pick them up within 24 hours or 24 hours later after you've put them on hold or you can call the children's desk at 687-9225 and just give us an idea of age levels, interest levels, how many books you want, and we'll select a grab bag of books for you. Um, so you won't have your own personal selections, but we'll select some good materials for you and your kids to read at home. And again, you can just call us the next day and pick those up on our curbside delivery table out in front of our doors. So we want to keep books in the hands of your kids, so please take advantage of those two services. Okay. Hopefully you're ready to start some story time. One of the things that we've been having some fun with with our virtual story time is doing a few bilingual stories using English and Spanish. And so today I have another bilingual story to share with you. Um, just kind of a fun way to teach kids new words by using pictures and um, images that they already recognize and that's a great vocabulary builder whether you're learning a first language or a second language. This particular story is adapted from the book Bajo Mi Sombrero by Anne E. Schraff and we are using this with permission from the publisher Richard C. Owen Publisher Company. So let's get started. It was a hot day muy muy caliente when I headed to the taco stand to buy a taco for my lunch I put on my big sombrero to keep me cool este es un sombrero as I walked along I met un pájaro El pájaro was very, very hot, and he said, May I please go under your sombrero, por favor? Es muy caliente. So, it was a very big hat. I offered to share some shade with el pájaro. I walked some more. Soon, I met un ratoncito. The mouse saw my big sombrero and how cool I was underneath, and it asked if it could share. Puedo, por favor, said the mouse. It was a very big sombrero, so I shared it with el ratoncito. As I walked a bit farther in the hot sun, I met un gato. El gato saw my big sombrero and the cool shade it casked. It asked to share my sombrero. It was a very big, muy grande sombrero, so I shared it with El Gato. A little further down the road, I met una rana who was sitting in the hot sun. It saw the shade from my large sombrero and it asked to share. Ribbit, ribbit, puedo por favor? There was still a little room in mi sombrero, so I shared it with La Rana. My hat felt a bit heavy as I walked further down the road with the hot sun beating down. Pero my, mi sombrero, my hat, was keeping me cool. I met un cerdo who saw my sombrero and asked if it could share. Puedo, por favor? Oink, oink. There wasn't much room, but I didn't want to be rude, so I shared my sombrero with El Cerdo. My sombrero was full now, but just then I came across un perro who was panting in the heat. El perro saw the cool shade from my sombrero and asked if it could share. Puedo, por favor? 
My hat was full, but the dog was muy caliente, very hot. So I said, see, sí, yes. Now it was very full under mi sombrero, and it was very heavy. I could barely keep my head up. My sombrero wasn't big enough for so many. Ay, bastante enough, I hollered everybody out. Out jumped el perro y el cerdo. Out jumped la rana. Out scurried el gato y el ratoncito. And out flew el pájaro. Whew. Now it was just me bajo mi sombrero, and it was just right. I got to the taco stand and bought a taco for my lunch. Muy delicioso. And that was the story Bajo Mi Sombrero by Anne Schraff. Sometimes when we learn words in a first language or a second language, it's good to set them to music because music helps us learn vocabulary in a different way. It uses a different part of our brain. So we're going to do a song together that you might already know. Everybody stand up. And we're going to do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And we'll do it in English first, and then we'll try it in Spanish. So here's how this goes if you don't already know it. Touch the parts of your body when I do. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Did you do it? Should we do it just a little bit more quickly? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Okay, now let's try it with the Spanish words. This time we're going to say cabeza, hombros. We're going to use the word for legs instead of knees. So we're going to say piernas and pies. Okay, so cabeza, hombros, piernas, pies, and then we're going to say ojos, orejas, boca, nariz. Ojos, orejas, boca, nariz. Should we try it? Cabeza, hombros, piernas, pies, piernas, pies. Cabeza, hombros, piernas, pies, piernas, pies. Ojos, orejas, boca y nariz. Cabeza, hombros, piernas, pies, piernas, pies. Did you do it? Should we try it a little more quickly? Más pronto. Let's see if Miss Darcy can do it. Cabeza, hombros, piernas, pies, piernas, pies. Cabeza, hombros, piernas, pies, piernas, pies. Ojos, orejas, boca y nariz. Cabeza, hombros, piernas, pies, piernas, pies. Whew. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully you learned some new Spanish word for some animals and some body parts and had a little fun today. We miss you. We wish, we wish we could see you here at the library. We hope to see you very soon. Stay well, stay safe, and have some fun with your families. Bye.